Welcome back, my DIY nomads. We are back again. Right, straight up, the first thing I'm going to say is the the way this is filmed now is going to look a bit different. Um, my previous lens broke, which is a real shame. Um, so I've sold a bunch of stuff and had to buy this very nice wide-angle lens. Uh, I thought wide-angle lens would work a lot better with what I do in film because like working inside a van like this the, the lens right now is about three inches from my face so you, you get like a really as you can see compared to all the other footage you can basically see the whole back of this workshop from this one shot which is really nice so that's a quick little first update second one is obviously the big elephant in the room in regards to the news um the coronavirus has come down pretty hard and fast on everything so uh i wanted to basically start releasing a bunch of pretty regular well very regular videos for my channel indeed um over the next coming weeks maybe even months depending on how long this thing goes on goes on for um these videos are just going to be like a few minutes just a little snippet uh not always necessarily about vans uh, might be just something i'm doing in the workshop uh, it's just something is a little mood booster something uh, if anyone is held up at home can watch or enjoy you know anytime you really want i just want everyone to stay positive remember don't don't panic it's absolutely fine everything's gonna be fine um but yeah no i hope everyone's doing well i hope everyone's fine and okay um it's just it's gonna be interesting times ahead um so yeah first thing i want to talk about is this sexy little vice well i say little it's actually ridiculously big so there is my hand it's an absolute monster um Basically, Ben did a little tool shuffling round, and he got all of his tools out of storage. And amongst all of them was this beautiful vice. Admittedly, it was like this level rust, so um, it was it was pretty gnarly. It's also the reason why the workshop is a bit of a mess right now because we've brought in a bunch of tools and stuff to sort through. So, excuse that if you see it in the background. Anyway, yeah, so basically we got this in and uh, I'm really excited. I absolutely love trying to reuse old tools and refurbish stuff because like, you don't find vices like this anymore. I, I, I personally believe these are some of the best, like all these like really solidly built old tools are still to this day some of the best on the planet. I do have a real soft spot for old vices, um, especially this one. This is a record number six one of the exciting things recently was um to get that to a really nice finish i had to sandblast it and recently someone uh, else in the industrial estate their compressor wasn't really up to the task of handling their sandblaster so they very generously allowed us to put it in our unit um, basically they sort of still own it but we're allowed to use it because um, our compressor can handle it and this thing has been a lot of fun to use now I'm not just going to talk about random tools and stuff like that I will do a little bit of van stuff but please understand that some of these videos won't always be van related um, we're going to go out and check out van uh, we're going to go out and check out Ben's uh, Luton because he's been painting the chassis look at this starting to look like Batman's Batman's Luton now The man, the legend. I just wanted to show you guys something pretty amazing. Um, so right here, this section here and this section here, this was all open and Ben filled this in so that we've just got the doorway from the back of the Luton into the box. Now, it might look suspiciously like MDF, which you'd think would be crazy to try and use as an outside panel, but this stuff is called Trichoia, if you haven't ever heard of it. This is also to require, this is MDF. Now you can see why they look so similar. They're basically both a pulp down board sheet material. This trachoia is incredible stuff. If I put this outside in the rain, this thing would swell up so fast um, just with any sort of moisture landing on it. This trachoia has a lifetime of 50 years outside 25 years in the ground um, and also I think it's 25 years in even salt water which is insane it's basically like a pickled MDF really but it's it has such a long lifetime I just thought I would show you guys because it is pretty amazing as mentioned guys I'm just going to cut the video there nice really quick short video but I, I want to do lots of short videos rather than a couple of long ones um, so that I can bring out more regular content for you guys anyone that might be like locked at home 
Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching along, and I'll catch you with your DIY nomads next time.